our fabulous game show, Whose Breasts Are They? <laughs> and that's followed by a special program showing more of the zany knockabout antics of the hilarious Frankie Jolly, who died today in a car crash. <laughs> uh, but for the moment, it's time to join Mike Channel and Mike Flex, your hosts for the next 47 hours for this year's KY Telethon. <laughs> Welcome to the KY Telethon. Yes, once again, it is time for Brown Nose Day. Yes, indeed. Yes, we've got a host of celebrities who are helping raise money. We've got an army of charity workers who are giving up their time. And we've got a bank manager who's wearing nothing but a pair of incontinence pants. So, uh, <laughs> a lot of fun there. Plus, lots of celebs doing things they wouldn't normally do, especially for the telethon. In the corner of the studio, Oliver Reed is going without a drink for as long as <laughs> he's unconscious. And uh, later on, Mary Whitehouse will be taking part in a threesome with Charles Dance and a goat. So, uh, <laughs> don't turn off. Look forward right. to that. What, what, what camera are we on, mate? Uh, over here, mate. All right, and uh, we're hoping very much that uh, we're going to top last year's total, aren't we? Yes, shouldn't be too hard, as we didn't actually have a telethon last year. <laughs> yes, but if uh, each of our viewers were to send us a pound, just imagine how much money we'd have. Just over a pound, I should think. <laughs> so, uh, to find out what's going on around the country... <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Uh, let's start by linking up with an adapter who's going to be uh, talking to some of the people raising money for Brown Nose Day today in this year's KY Marathon. <laughs> All right, Anna. Anna. So far, so technically all over the bloody shop, but uh, I believe we can join Mike Channel, who's popped downstairs to our foyer where there's an auction going on. Hello, Mike. <laughs> well, I can hardly stand up for the bustle of people down here, Mike. It's uh, just an event. I'm not really entering into the spirit of the thing. It's just a crazy atmosphere. I'll catch you later, Mike, if I'm still standing. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, well, I believe we uh, can now go back and link up with our man in Scotland, Graham Batty. Hello, Mike. Yes, I'm up here in Balmy, Scotland. Uh, all kinds of new, as I believe they say up here. And uh, let me tell you, it's a bra brick moonlit nick for this on this beautiful sunny afternoon up here. <laughs> Great. Seen any haggis? Uh, well, I saw a couple copulating in Princess Street Garden. <laughs> but no haggis? No. <laughs> Great. Anyway, Mike, uh, a while the new, and uh, let me tell you, I've been joined here by little Morag, and we've already made a great start to this year's telethon, haven't we, Morag? The Edinburgh City Fathers have made a donation of a pound. <laughs> Thanks for that. And, uh, oh, your change is in the post. <laughs> <laughs> great. OK. Um, let's go over to Janice Price-Jones, right the other end of the country, in Wales. Hello, Croiso no Legamri in Waikato. And, yes, I've been joined here by little Miss Anui, who's come all the way from the lovely Welsh village of... Edinburgh, by the look of it. <laughs> <laughs> great. OK, well, let's uh, just go back and see if we can hear now from Phil Longman in Birmingham. <laughs> yes, uh, Phil there trying to tell us about where some of the money is going, <laughs> I think. Well, uh, let me tell you that, uh, welcome back, Mike, right round the country, people are apparently doing their bit for Brown Nose Day, aren't they? Yes, the Duke of Westminster has opened his gardens for the general public. The Princess Royal has organised a trip to Brighton for a party of school children, and the Duchess of York has gone skiing for a fortnight. <laughs> She's just gone skiing, in fact. Well, uh, thanks very much to her. OK, uh, well, uh, in Oxford, a group of students have been out on the streets changing around all the one-way signs uh, so that uh, nobody can get out of the city centre. <laughs> Uh, nothing to do with the telethon, apparently, but still looks like a lot of fun anyway, Mike. Super. And uh, here at KYTV, we've just heard that our entire team of telephone operators have decided to do their bit by all buggering off early for lunch. <laughs> so, uh, apologies if you're having difficulty getting through with your donations. Give us all your money! Give us all your money! Give us 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 money! Well, there are a number of charities, um... <laughs> Excuse me. There are a number of charities you can give to, and we've just heard that Mr and Mrs Douglas of Brentwood Drive in Leicester have donated their house to help the homeless, as a result of which they now have nowhere to live. <laughs> Still, it's all in a good cause. Yes, indeed, and uh, with the telethon now well underway, it's time to roll the scoreboard. <laughs> Hmm. 
So, as a result of those thousands of people working flat out round the clock, we've now got seven pence. <laughs> yes. Still, hopefully it'll all change once the telephone operators get back from lunch. <laughs> yes, well, uh, lots of fun tonight, but remember, behind the funny, there's the money. And this year, some of that money will be going towards keeping open some of our severely underfunded hospitals. And some tremendous news, the government are going to donate two million pounds. Well, that's yeah. awesome. Unfortunately, they're going to raise it by closing down St Luke's Hospital in Norwich. <laughs> so we now need to raise two million to keep St Luke's open. Well, as in previous years, we'll be giving to a variety of charities. Last year, we raised a considerable amount of money for Help a London Child, as a result of which that child has been living in a penthouse suite at the Ritz ever since. <laughs> money also went to our Help a London Junkie appeal, by the end of which we were able to supply the needy with over £20,000 worth of hard drugs. <laughs> But our tour de force was when our money went to converting an old field with a few cattle in it into a leisure centre and playground. As a result, a herd of the fittest and healthiest cattle in the country. Well, uh, lots of fun there. Perhaps yes. this is a good time once again to uh, roll, roll the, the scoreboard. Looks like someone's managed to get through, if only to ask for their sevenpence back. On a wise up, bone up, cop up. <laughs> People from all walks of life will be giving freely of their time to help the telethon. In particular, around schools and hospitals where wheel clampers will be doing their best to try and clamp as many cars as possible. <laughs> In Bath, the police have been given sweeping new powers to raise money by finding people on the spot for being too short. <laughs> Not before time. Smashing. So obviously lots of fun going on around the country. Let's go back and see if we can get Birmingham again. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> well, I'm sorry we didn't get that. Uh, not that sorry, in fact. Well, I think it's probably time to check on our progress, so let's roll the scoreboard. <laughs> One thousand pounds! <laughs> oh, so we're uh, still pretty much on these starting blocks at the minute. Mike. Great. Well, let's uh, now meet some of our celebrities who are manning the phones here. Hello, you're through to the KY Telethon. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, David, hello. You're talking to Tony Blackburn. David? Hello? <laughs> Great, let's move on to our next celebrity yeah, here. Marvellous. Is, uh, going wonderfully is well. this a fan of yours, Rolf? No, I just found him my brother in Australia. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> I just, uh, sorry to get you out of here. What time is it in Sydney, anyway? Yes, do please make yourself at home. Oh. Great. Uh, Sue Cook is here. Sue, uh, how's it going? It's going really well, Mike. Great. We've got a very good lead on that burglary in Sussex. But if anybody knows where those 25 gold boss fishing loans are in Northampton, please do call. I think, I think it's probably time again for us to roll that scoreboard! Well, we'll come back to the scoreboard just as soon as we've found a way of stopping it. Well, uh, <clears throat> it's very nearly time to sign off to BBC viewers, but let's have one final attempt to see if we can talk to Phil Longman down there in Birmingham. Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter what we say here in Birmingham, because every time you come to us, you don't seem to get any sound. So let me just say, Mike, that the whole telethon has looked like a com complete bull's up and that you yourself are a complete cabbage. <laughs> so, up yours, Mike. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what a pity we couldn't hear from Phil earlier. Let's just have a look at that final total. <laughs> and so from nothing, we seem to have jumped to 85 and a half million in just over six minutes. <laughs> which uh, either indicates overwhelming generosity on your part or staggering faulty wiring on ours. And personally, I'd go for the latter. 